Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. demands 30 billion dollars 30 billion dollars what makes them think they can get that much there was a government sponsored tour going on at the big shell that day hostages huh a v You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order.
The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two. 